I reckon the Munja track has got to be one of my favourites of all time. Peter Lacey, the owner at Mount Elizabeth Station, he punched this track in back in the 1960s with his brother. And it's a stock route designed to take cattle from their property about 220 k's north to Walcott Inlet. Because back in the 60s and 70s there used to be a mission there. So Peter and his brother and a few of their indigenous mates from the property have set out with a tractor and a trailer and a bunch of crowbars and picks and shovels and they carve this track that you can see here. Now it runs through some of the most beautiful Kimberley country. It's got a little bit of everything, it really has. And when you drive it late in the dry season, well, you're going to get lots of dust as well. But being the Kimberley, it just changes constantly. This is Magpie Jump Up, for instance. It's probably the steepest bit of track on the whole 220k trip. But, you know, a little bit of rock packing if you need it and you can get there. Mind you, it shook my springs a little bit loose. Bit of the old maintenance, tightening up the U-bolts. But you don't want to take it too relaxed out here at any stage, you know. It's all about vehicle reliability. And about a whole lot of common sense. In grass country like this, you always run the risk of a fire, a huge fire, if something goes wrong. I mean, this Polaris buggy, because of the way it was designed with the exhaust manifolds coming together, it trapped a bunch of grass and everything caught fire, including the paddock. But the guys got out. This is the thing about grass country in the Kimberleys. Grass country anywhere for that matter. And even in the dry season, there's lots of water. This was the Calder River. What a beautiful bit of, I don't know, Kimberley magic this is. But wait, this is just part of it. There's a whole lot more to come. But don't think you're going to go racing through here because it's slow country for the most part. It really is. I mean, there and back, that's got to be good for four or five days, maybe longer if you want to camp along the way. And it is beautiful camping. Here we are working our way slowly towards my favourite place, possibly in the whole north of Australia. This is Wren's Gorge coming up soon. But first, look at the old tractor. It's not one of the originals from Peter's trip, but it's just about the same time, eh? What a tough way to do things. Oh, this looks like we're getting pretty close, and here it is. How good is this place? This is actually called a passion pool in the Aboriginal language, and you can imagine why. I mean, what a beautiful place to bring your girlfriend. It is just pristine, and of course, being raw Kimberleys, there's Aboriginal rock art just about everywhere. There's also a lovely little spa bath on top and a great big pond underneath. If you don't leave there feeling refreshed, there's something wrong with you. We've been on the track about three days now and it was starting to get real close to the uh, old Munger Mission. We knew we'd made it when we started seeing scraps of old metal all over the place. You know, bits and pieces here and there. A memento to a guy who uh, got taken by a crocodile, not so nice. And we just explored all around here, having a real good old look. Nice and dusty, but always lots of water. Typical Kimberley country, eh? Oh, look, it's just a magnificent part of the world. It really is. But one of the things that blew me right away, apart from the wildlife everywhere, was the Walcott Inlet itself. Now, this is it. And it doesn't look that amazing, but you know what's going on here, don't you? All the tide comes in. 20 feet of tide comes in in about an hour and a bit. And it comes in so fast that there's schools of fish rushing in, there's crocodiles following them. It's probably the most amazing thing I've seen since the flash flood in the Flinders, to be honest. Just to see the tide coming in this fast is amazing in itself. Well worth the trip up the Munja track, it really is. But of course, then you've got to get home. And it's pretty easy. It's always easier going home, isn't it? You kind of know where the track goes, you know how to work it. You know to wave to your mates along the way, you know, and there's plenty of them. Mostly wildlife, no people. But if you want to experience the Kimberleys in all their glory, Mount Elizabeth Station, Munja Track. <laughs>